handle this. You can't handle this. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a savage. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow's campaign for the. <laughs> <laughs> We got this and that and in between. We yes. look like we're an American Idol. <laughs> Give me this Amazon wig. Hey, listen, if you guys want to see this. No, oh, these are my lashes. That's my Aurora lash. No, yes, I, it is. no, that's mine. Let me see. No. That's mine. Let's get there. Let her get okay, there. Let, <laughs> let her let get there. there. I unplugged it. I put the air fryer on his back and I got the frozen chicken. <laughs> Two queens stand before me. LaDenny, Patrick Starr. Prior to tonight's elimination, you've both been asked to lip sync to Jessica Simpson. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, cut. Okay, ready, Pete? What's, what's wrong? Probably mine. Who's, who's heart palpitations? You're going to get cardiac Peter. arrest. <laughs> <laughs> I love you not to be so nervous. We're all friends. I'm not nervous, bitch. Whose heartbeat is it? Is it your implant moving? You wish, girl. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you are in for a treat. This is a one of a kind video, you guys. I'm so excited because I have the voice of drag. I have the one, the only, Joanna Boys. Hi. I'm so excited. Oh, and we have, again, I can do it myself. The one. What me? Uh, hi guys, I am back. You know, I always am featured. <laughs> It is <laughs> such an honor to be sitting alongside two drag queens. <laughs> the reason why Lademi is here, because oh. she is on a pip. She is on a performance evaluation <gasps> with one size and myself. I thought you said prep. I was like, I am, <laughs> I am not prep. <laughs> Joella is here for a very top secret campaign. Joella has done my music for Got the Glam. She did Don't. She wrote Go Off. And Joella literally is the voice of drag. She has done amazing songs for Alyssa Edwards. Who else? Erica Andrews. Erica Andrews. Rocky Chabelle Mother. Brooks. Say it with your chest, yeah. girl. You gotta be so. Uh, <laughs> say it. Those are great compliments. And also, if if you hear any queen in a variety show or talent show, Joella, nine times out of ten, has made their song and is the only queen in the world that can imitate RuPaul's laugh, RuPaul's voice. Oh, I wanna hear it. Ooh, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not RuPaul. Two queens stand before me. LaDenny, Patrick Starr. Prior to tonight's elimination, you've both been asked to lip sync to Jessica Simpson. <laughs> Well, if you guys want to get ready with us, pull up well, a chair. Pull up a chair. Grab your drugs. Grab your drugs. <laughs> grab your Ozempic. <laughs> pack your gun. <laughs> pack your wig glue. Order Uber Eats. And grab Order us. Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. DoorDash if you can't afford Uber Eats. <laughs> and then there's always Postmates for the elites. Well, get ready for the treat. And also, guys, be sure to check out their channels because we have a collab on La Demi's channel. You have a channel? That's yeah. Never heard of you until oh. today. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> As you can tell, it's going to be a motherfucking kiki. So don't forget, makeup is a one-size-fits-all. Oh. <gasps> Sorry, that was the coffee. <laughs> that was my base, isn't it? Makeup is a one-size-fits-y'all. <laughs> We'll redact her campaign images for our next uh, lawsuit. Yeah! But in the meantime, makeup is a one size fits all. Oh. And enjoy the video. Okay, thank God. Now you guys can turn on your fan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everybody wants a fan, but it's not Wait, even allowed. Wait, my fan though? Wait, let me tell you about the Cooney. Uh -huh. I was putting all the stuff in, in Jose's car and I left the Cooney on top. Girls, we drove off, we were on the freeway and it was, she was still on full blast on the top. And then it went and she's like, Something just fell off the top of my car. And I go, oh, oh no, no, my, my cooney. Yeah. She got off, she ran, she risked her life for the cooney. And let it me tell you, highway? she was broken in pieces, but she was still spinning. Oh, wow. The, the cooney. That was a death <laughs> drop, huh? I'm very honored that Joella gets to be on my YouTube channel because for the longest time, Joella wouldn't fly. Joella oh, no. actually started in our Cheek Clapper campaign for one size, wrote the music for that, had Mikey. But prior to that, the last time you flew on a plane was, see the spike? Girls in 2004 in Las Vegas, yes. and you hadn't flown since then. No. How do you, would you say, 
you have come to find out about La Demi? <sighs> well, I saw her Dang, back then. Smart. I remember back then when Craigslist was a thing, I remember she was in Texas. When who? Craigslist. And you had an ad on it. We were competing Have against jokes. each other. You are a Craigslist <laughs> Yeah, I was, uh, uh, I was uh, selling my oven. You're also the one that bought Patrick's bag on OfferUp. <laughs> <laughs> and I still have your little YSL you clutch. YSL and then you know what the, the shady thing is? I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I sold it. <laughs> Really sell her bag on opera, but you're yes. Joking. I was going through some hard times during COVID. no, yeah. still is no AC, no electricity. Girl, that was one time you're having too much fun with those switches, girl. You need to be doing those switches downstairs. Kind of hot in here, don't you think, sister? No, no, you want to wear your burlap and your wig uh -huh. and your things. No one's wearing a wig, girl, you know damn well. Can you zoom into her lace real quick? <laughs> Peter, zoom in. Peter, 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 Peter do you don't it. need the pan. When was the first time? The first time I met you was right before I was going to Paris on my date with my guy. Yes, and you never yes. finished really telling me the and story. And you know what? I felt like that whole time you were there, you were just quiet and observant. Really? Yes, yeah. and then later on I went home and I did like my own research to look at like your videos <laughs> and you're so funny online, <laughs> but in person you don't give. Really? <laughs> yes, she does. Yes, you know you why, bitch? Because you it. never let me talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I only asked you for one thing and you still can't even fulfill it. No, I did. I told you to send me the acapella. Patrick's music is sickening and you produce it. And if there's one thing about me, I will weasel my big toe in to see what I can get out of it too. <laughs> so I was like, I have a song. <laughs> and I was like, how about you go ahead and remix that? Five months, six months later? Yeah, well, can you sing the song for me? Because if it's that uh, important to you, let's see if you know the lyric. Yes. Can I have a little beat? <laughs> yeah. Can I Boom. have a little beat? Boom. Might fuck your man on his boys now. I don't catch feelings, I catch lights. Why is he calling at midnight? Living the dream in the limelight. I'm scandalous, you can't handle this. I'm a bad bitch, I'm a savage. That got expensive habits. Boy, don't try me, you can't manage. Ah! My crown and gown is glistening. My mug so beat it's sickening. I'm this and that and in between. Yes, Miss Thing, I'm everything. Call it what you like, I call it how it is. Just don't call me collect, bitch. Before I twirl and shut it down, a bitch better have my check. <laughs> Let me do my makeup, girl. I like yes. you. <laughs> Joella is an icon. She's done music for everybody, and I want yes. all the kids to know my friends. Since Dolly Parton days. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I will always love you. Yeah, <laughs> Don't take her man, Jolene. <laughs> What's cool about these videos, you guys have been loving they, them. <laughs> and I'm so excited. So if you guys want to see more she videos, her. comment down below who you guys want to see, love to see, should we have her back? I would love a letter of plea in the comments as uh. to why let <laughs> to why Demi should stay on the YouTube <laughs> channel because clearly <laughs> she's just gassy all the fucking time. She's burping and farting and burping and farting. To my Ozempics, let's all choose each other's looks. Patrick, I want you to do your same old regular <laughs> raccoon smoky eye and beat face and you. <laughs> I, ooh. We really have Wendy's going on, girl. Wendy! <laughs> what should I do? Do your same old regular, regular cool tongue I with the cool tongue. I want you to give tongue. me like, got me, kind of. Oh, so Joella, you have been trending on TikTok for your makeup hacks. Uh -huh. Can you please walk us through how you are achieving this astonishing smoky eye? Sure. So first of all, I'm using Cheek Pro dollar makeup brushes. <laughs> Okay. Can we say these names on here? Yeah. I'm no. Doing, no. You cannot we say cannot anything say. but one size. Okay. <laughs> no, you, you can't. can't say anything no, about you but can. one. No, you, you cannot. Can. We, you can. <laughs> we all got reprimanded for that la no, last video. No, you did. <laughs> so these are my go-to: the Wicked Palette and the Huda Beauty Naughty. Also, do, do, you, do you want to mention like your lipstick with one size? And Let's get there. Let her get okay, there. Let, <laughs> let her get there. Let her get there. Let her get there. Let me get there, girl. Let me get there. Let me get there. You need a 
lower your voice. You wouldn't let me get there. <laughs> let me get there, girl. Can I get there, my love? And then I love the Scott Barnes contour palette. I've never heard of her. And yeah, I do have my own lipstick. Thank you, Patrick. It's called Joella Puss. Our number one selling lipstick with one size. And out of all our products at one size, Joella is the only person to have a product named after her because she helped me name Until Dawn, Argo Off. And when we were launching the brand, I, I needed kind of like support and aid because I love collaborating. I was like, do you want to help me name? Because you're a lyricist. Joella has been there since day one of one size. You are the face of Until Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> I was there too when you were in your apartment No, we mixing. actually were not talking, remember? Oh, shoot, but then the we drama. started talking afterwards. <clears throat> let's, let's do a deep dive. Let me what? get there. <laughs> Let me get there. <laughs> Does Joella know that you, um, your mom was friends with Selena? <gasps> really? Yes. I was sending you photos the other day, no? Is Patrick she get has mad been telling me for a ho Let me get there. Okay. <laughs> Patrick has been telling me that for this Halloween season, I need to recreate this image here of Selena and my mother because this is, I think, when she was doing her album cover shoot and the uncropped version, it's my mom and Selena, which a lot of people uh, don't know that. I think no one really knows that because they were just like, Queens together. This is her mom, Joella. Oh my God. Actually, guys, if you don't know, Patrick produced a video of me interviewing my mom all about Selena's stories and stuff, which was actually a very sentimental moment because after that video, well, this is TMI, but like you remember my mom mm. kind of yelled at me mm -hmm. and she was just like, I wish yeah. you would have gone over those questions with me beforehand. Mm -hmm. It was inappropriate and there's oh. things that I will take to my grave and our friendship that just the world doesn't need to know. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was cute because because, girl, I'm not taking nothing in my grave. Just those implants. Do you know that when you die, actually, they, when they gut you like a fish, they take out your implants that you cannot be buried no. with your implants. Why? I don't know. They, they had to like medically like destroy them. So when you go, girl, they're going to take out your hips, your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got them done. Because you've done what? Your boobs like what? Six times? Let me get them. <laughs> I think in your last video, I was talking about how I was going to get them done. I was supposed to get them done last Friday. Wait, why? Um, what? Watch the last video, my love. <laughs> I ended up canceling because I got COVID and then I was craving a martini. So I was like, <laughs> you know what? And you're not supposed to drink two weeks before surgery. So that was a little bit halt. But since then, One Size has signed me up to a retreat that I will be going on to get better. Oh. I, I think it's not a retreat, it's rehab. <laughs> <laughs> do you drink Joella? Yes. Oh, she I does. Do. She does. You've talked about the the S N M where you had a guy over and uh -huh. you <gasps> put a microwave on his back. Please yeah. and tell you did that. Let, let her get, get there. there. So I had this guy come over and he came with an Amazon package and I said, Oh my God, this man is gonna murder me or do something. Like there's probably like a knife in this box. He goes into the into the bathroom and he's taking a long time and I bitch, I start sweating. I don't have my Cooney fan. I'm going to the gigs. I'm like, this man, he's he's gonna get me. I've heard the stories, this man's gonna get me. Well he comes out in a maid's outfit and little kid in heels. Instantly in my mind, I'm like, okay, I cannot judge this man because those who discriminate masturbate. So I was like, you know what? Let him live his fantasy. But then he told me that he wanted to be furniture. And he, well, first of all, he wanted to clean my house. So I let him clean the house. But then after that, he wanted to be furniture. And I said, well, what do you mean you want to be furniture? If I sit on you, I'm going to kill you. So he's like, I just want to be furniture. I said, okay, bitch. So I got my little tray, you know, from the Ross Cross Dress for Less, and I put it over, over him. I went to the kitchen, I got my air fryer, I unplugged it, I put the air fryer on his back, and I got the frozen chicken, and I put it in there with some peas, and I spiced it up, and then I put the thing on high at four, uh, 490, and I just watched Drag Race while he just sat there on his knees with the air fryer. Air on his fryer. back, uh -huh. boiling and everything. Boiling and cooking. And, and you have a photo that you had showed us. Oh, baby, I got the photo. Uh, yes, no. there's please, a, there's please, a... You guys, you can't make this shit up. Please put photo here. <laughs> <laughs> Blur it. <laughs> Blur it. <laughs> what would you say that people could find on your channel? Like, th they would probably assume music, but you love VR, you love storytelling, you love gossiping. Yeah, I just like to, to you know, talk about the struggles of being a big girl because in reality, a lot of 
people, you don't really hear about the struggle. Like we go through it, honey, or my knees give out, my Achilles heel is breaking, my back is Your foot's collapsed. It's collapsing, you know, I'm so sweating like a whore in church. And these are the experiences that I like to talk about on my channel, just so the girls out there know that, hey, you're not alone. I'm sweating too, bitch. And also too, who we need on this channel, last night, Joella introduced me to Alweezy, such an icon. There were so many young teenage boys coming up to take pictures and I'm like, Howard, the, this is not my demographic at all, but <laughs> if you know Alweezy, Joella yes, introduced it me. Yes, huh? We'd be out and there's be little TikTok boys coming up to you no, asking but for they're photos. Like, no, but they're like little, you know, makeup boys. That, oh, that okay. do. But these were like, right, Joella? Last yeah. night? Like grown it was, um, it was Right, because she's on all of those podcasts with all those little yes, streets. Yes, yes. So, Alweezy, we love you. Thank you so much for joining me and Joella at dinner. And she mentioned that and I'm here to say on the record that she said, oh my God, tell Demi I said hi because oh, yeah. I DM'd her when I was going out on one of my first dates as a woman and she even replied and gave me advice. Aww. Yes, that was really oh, nice. Yes. I don't remember doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I love you and that just goes to prove that I am not as much as a bitch as people think I am. I do open my DMs and I do give advice. Now your DMs are gonna fuck. <laughs> 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 no, 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 Joella, can you tell the girls that are watching that are fans of you, because you've created iconic songs, what does it take outside of cash for you to say yes to doing their music? Because never in a million years that I thought I would ever be able to work with a music producer, let alone one of the legendary music producers like you, yourself. You have to be talented. First of all, because there's no the the music can only carry you so much. I, I'll what. give it to you. You have probably more charisma around your pinky than I have, have bro. <laughs> uh huh. How old are you? <laughs> Don't ask me. No, no, I'm genuinely interested because I was talking about this last night. I was watching an early 2000s movie, and that's like <laughs> my uh, it's our era of okay. growing up. Nowadays, movies are so inclusive and diverse and everything, but we really did grow up on such a that stupid Jessica Simpson vibe, the high school like princess. Right, you know what I but mean? You know what? You know what I will say. This is a very uh, prominent topic of conversation that I love to share with you because I've kept this more for myself. And I told this to Lademi, and I talked about it with Joella last night at dinner. I asked Joella, I was like, "Do you still love what you're doing? Like, do you do you feel like you've lived a, a life because you've done so much stuff?" And Joella, Joella told me, "I feel like I'm living my life for the first time now." And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Because I was talking to Lademi about it, and I said, "I've been doing YouTube for 11 years." So I said, "As an 11 11 year old, I've been doing this gig for 11 years and I've been doing one size for about four or five years, you know, even pre-launch, like working on it for a year. So I feel like I'm five years old as a founder. And then I asked Lademi, when did you start being like Le Demi. full on Lademi? And she said about around four years old. And then you said you were kind of like one years old, like fully or two years old fully, because that's when yeah. you got your FFS and you felt like in your full fantasy. Like I'm still barely, like I feel so young because uh -huh. I'm barely living my actual like, yes. fantasy. And if you think about it, like a two year old doesn't really know that much. And if anything, you'll experience your trouble too because you're trying to break into this like lifestyle. So if you guys are turn if you guys are watching and you guys are like escaping from reality or where you're living, like just know like you're probably starting a new idea in your mind of where you want to step into the next chapter of your life. When Joella, having done, worked with so many amazing people, you've done a music for Netflix and HBO and reality shows. She's done commercials, you guys. For her to say to me recently, I feel like I'm living life for the first time. She's a fucking homeowner. Yes, God. Yes. You have, you've done so much. But to hear that from someone like Joella, I was like, girl, do your motherfucking thing. I was girl. also saying how like, no one really even knows how to like navigate or just truly an adult until 20. Even though I, I take it more so, I tell myself like, if you're 28, if you're 29, if you're 30, like you, that, you're only actually eight years old of being mm -hmm. an adult through life, you know? That's true. So why do you even you, count? You can't really count all those adolescent years. You're still, you're f trying to figure yourself out. Are you gay? Are you straight? Are you a cross-dresser? What are you? You know, where you belong in life. What do you want to do for a living? Like there's still all these elements. So like people that are 28 or turning 30 or 31, they're really only actually 10 years old or 11 years old. And they're because still- Because 21 is like the legal age of adulthood. So imagine yeah. 21, 
22, you're only like two years, two old, years, years old, old of being an adult. So that's like an important thing to learn. And a lot of kids are like, well, I want to be a mom by like 25 or I want to have my shit together, find a husband. But you, oh, you no. don't really know what it feels like until you're actually there. You need rehab is what you need. Joella, what will you say is probably one of your most viral songs that you've done that people might know that are Drag Race fans? Because we just had Roxy Andrews on the channel and you've worked with her. So what will you say is like one of your iconic songs, Joella? Like that's original or like- Yeah, like anything from Drag Race or that people would know. Probably my song, Bitch, I'm Everything. Bitch, I'm Everything, and yes. You, 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 um, that's how we met, right? Because you. Yes, I, yeah, yeah, I did a, I did a mix on that. Yeah, and that song has been uh, on a lot. Also, of get shows. on up. Get on up. That is an original, <laughs> Joella. What is the song Ronnie was dancing to? That yeah. is that is Joella's song. Insert video of Ronnie the dancing TikTok. here. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What's this woman's name, Patrick? I don't what? know who that is, but you made that song, didn't you? Yeah, look at yeah, her. she made that song. She knows all the whips. She knows all the hits. She knows all the booms. Oh. <laughs> she memorizes it. She got body, too, and 2020 vision. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. No, there she goes. Right. If you guys have heard that mix and you're gay, you know, you probably heard a drag queen do it or you heard it at a gay club in WeHo, but I think that's so iconic. <laughs> Joella, what yes. is your most favorite thing about working with Patrick and creating music with him? He listens, he feels, it feels like family. He is a good it, listener. It, girl, it's always a good kiki and he's very professional. And he keeps business, business and friendship, friendship. And that's why I respect him. And I'm learning so much. I, I call her like, 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 like my daughter in a way with business because I feel like I'm a Chris Jenner your ass real quick. And the other day guys, we recorded a song and a jingle because I recorded all of my music with Joella. If you hear any backbeats on like Sephora.com, OneSizeReduce.com or even on TikTok, it's been with Joella and we record it. And when I tell you, it was just me and Peter and her in my office. <laughs> and she said, get some of your blankets and put it over the door. Get some of your pillows <laughs> and put it around. So we turned our home office into a little mini studio. Oh, and we yeah. were recording this with yesterday? our- yesterday? Yes. We recorded a rap that was fierce. And Joella, oh my God. Can I you felt, give us a teaser? I know you have it on your I phone. I can't, I can't. You guys have to just stay tuned. It's, it's sickening, right, Joella? I love it. Especially when you did the rap part, I was shook. And if you guys, maybe in the past few videos, have taken a really crooked eye at the table, I might have accidentally put it out. I haven't blurred it or anything, but it's probably there. So it's coming out soon. You might see it, you might not, it might blend in. What types of videos do you want us to see Joella? Because Joella is like my biggest critic and I, I appreciate her opinion. She said that she wants us to like do stuff, go out and Be about. Be out in the world. Joella was in full glam drag at Ross the Ross. other day. No, I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better no, believe it. No, I can't believe it. When I tell you I shook the people, actually, I, I have to take, I took, I shook Wait, where the, was this? At Ross. At Ross. Ross Fest for Less. I went in full mug. Full mug, hair, full dry, ponytail. hair. Like ponytail. vlogging it and filming it? Yes. I was just shopping. I have to see it. Guys, please follow Joella. If you guys want Joella back on the channel, like, let us know what we <laughs> should do because I never thought that my first video with Joella would be. <laughs> would be here. <laughs> this is so I unreal. I missed that I was doing my island. I'll watch this back. I love on Joella's channel how you also go to buffets. In full my glam. full glam. And she brings lights. <laughs> no. no. She brings lights and she tries no. I'm trying to normalize the experience because where I'm from, Tell them where you're from, Joella. I'm from the Rio Grande Valley, originally from Westlaco, Texas, but now I live in Mercedes, Texas. And you don't see a lot of, you know, queens and all the glamour and all that. So I just want to break the mold and make it normal for the next girls or that are coming you can break out. it, girl, if you really want to. <laughs> <laughs> break it, girl. <laughs> I think we should start showing being more into the world. What do you say? Yeah, Lizemi says that, you guys. Like, she's like, oh, I think we should go driving. We should, like, Car do karaoke. Like something. I get so nervous being in the studio, you guys. I have been in a studio after studio after studio setting, and it's become, like, my comfort zone. I've been exercising it more with, like, vlogs. I'm vlogging our campaign shoot tomorrow with Joella, who she's she's in. Oh, tomorrow's campaign for the <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're doing our campaign for
And we're also gonna be shooting some campaign images of Joella with her lips. <gasps> I'm excited. Her product, guys. <laughs> you know what? No one was talking to you, girl. <laughs> you know what? You guys see how Lodebi talks to Peter behind the camera? Peter is my business, business manager and does freaking everything what size. Uh -huh. Whenever Lodebi sleeps over, she'll wake up and she'll see Peter. She'll go, and you're still here. <laughs> it's like, girl, and she does that to my little brother and Paul has glasses. Every time it's Paul, guys, please insert a picture of Paul here <laughs> with his little fucking glasses at the tip of his nose. But I'll be coming out of my room acting like I live there downstairs and I have like my own room there. Mm -hmm. And I come out and he's usually, everyone's working on the kitchen table, getting ready for the morning. And I'll look at him like, you're still here. <laughs> you're, you're still and, and they look at me thinking for a second, like, are they, are they supposed to be supposed somewhere, to somewhere else? <laughs> they go, and Paul's like, I fucking live here, girl. You know who was uh, laughing and laughing and laughing at you, me, and Paul is when we took our trip to Philadelphia and we were all running to th through TSA and TSA wanted to stop me and go through my bag with all my toys and dildos. They were doing the most. And then I turned to Paul and I was like, and where are your toys? He goes, I don't travel with mine. With his glasses like that. <laughs> and I, I think I called him Peter and he goes, actually my name's Paul, but okay. <laughs> How do you pick your wigs? Because are you, I, I always say La Demi is like in her blonde era because she loves blonde. She was clearly bullied out of being blonde, so she did black. But then when she got when she did that, she went full blonde, full platinum. But I love the black on her because she. Black looks but so she good. knows that she has to do black. tan. Also, too, going back to that early Y2K, I think my biggest fantasy all my life was like seeing all these like Paris Hiltons, Pamela Andersons of the world, and like just being so obsessed. So like I was like, when I grow up, I'm gonna be blonde and I'm gonna be a bombshell. Do you get hit on being more being blonde or? Today, my DMs and the men that have been like responding to my story that I posted, everyone's really horny for the black. Of course. Yeah. It's sexy, bitch. You're a vixen. And you know what? This really hot guy at Barney's Beanery the other night, I'm not going to put his name out there. <laughs> he, you know, we'll bleep it. If you're watching, I think he's an undercover low key gay, so he's probably watching all your videos already. <laughs> but I was like, what's your type? And we're vibing, we're having drinks at the bar, and he goes, Brunettes. And I just, I was sitting there with a platinum blonde wig on, like a stupid. And you said, let me get there. <laughs> you know what I said? I immediately said, started scrolling through my Instagram and I was like, how do you like this? And it was like a photo of me with Brunette. He goes, oh wow, I haven't seen that. I like that. So here I am next week. Dark hair, Wait, you very mindful. Up? You need to sew the roll with the makeup girl. The I last video, there. the last video. You say, let me get there. You I never started. I never get there. <laughs> The last video, the whole Miss USA fight that we had, my makeup is going and going and going, and you're, you're not even not doing makeup not one. Girl. Do you have your eyelash bag? What is this? Oh, this this is what I've collected from your studio over the years. Guys, every time I look at my kit, <laughs> my lashes are missing. Uh huh. <laughs> now these are the your Roquel ones that I took out your kit because your assistant wanted to move the kit away from me because he saw me rummaging through looking at all yes. your lashes. Let me get there. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. In my bag. Paul's not a, here. Oh, um, I forgot lash glue. Oh, too bad. Listen, if you guys want to see this my lash. on our website. Oh, these are oh, my lash. That's my Aurora lash. No, yes, I, it is. no that's mine. Let me see. No. That's mine. They don't have the name. I know that. I know, I know that, that shape. No. Let me put it on and then you can take a look. You literally took more than one lash. I thought you only took the little spike. I took three packs. Let me get there. Don't I, I listen. It's, you don't like it? <laughs> Bad booty? Oh, you look like a pumpkin, girl. <laughs> you look like Halloween. <laughs> You're giving you Halloween. Know what, bitch, give, me this, give me this Amazon wig. Oh, well, bitch, let me lighten this shit there. Yes. God damn it. Do it. No, I like it. No, I like it. I like it. I like it. Leave her. Let Leave her. Let me just lighten her. Leave her alone. How dare you? I, How no, you need to shut the fuck up oh. and respect your elders. You need to return bad pussy back to wherever you She were. made that from scratch. <laughs> she went you went to it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, you thought you were onto something with that lip shade, girl. Girl, you can't fucking talk makeup if you're not even doing it. <laughs> we're, we're like done. <laughs> oh, is this my wig? You know damn well your wig is extra large. Well guys, we don't want to be here all night. We still have to film two videos. So if you guys want to stay till the end to see the finished look, if Lademi gets there, cause she's the queen of let me get there, let me get there. <laughs> we're gonna take a break. We're gonna zhuzh, put on our wigs, tuck up our boobs, suck in our stomachs, glue down our wigs, and hopefully get we'll there. get there. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Three 
drag queen stand before you. One is an orange sequins and a ponytail hide of the gods. The other <laughs> has blue special effects contact. She's my girly girl and the lace is laid down with a full beat face, bronze, boobs, glitter and all in the pinstripe corporate realness jacket with the triple E titties. Ooh. And one is the makeup mogul of the brand One Size Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, this was so much oh, fun. So much fun. Oh my God, I love it. We look like we're on American Idol. We, oh my God, what show would we be? We'd be judges for sure. Yeah, I feel like we're like judges. <laughs> Do you guys see us judging a pageant, judging a contest? I've been wanting to throw my own little gig. We right, should Joe? do I something where we're love. judges. Yes. I would love to say you are not going to Hollywood. Please see yourself exit left. Don't even do right because you're not gonna walk across my stage. Okay, girl. Okay. You, get you know what? I think it does take one to have been judged to be a judge. I think so I too. Think and I think all qualify. three of us have been yeah, very much so judged in our lifetime. Have. I would never judge anyone else though. I would. <laughs> <laughs> the way I broke your face. Well, you guys, be sure to follow Joella Puss, La Demi. Congrats to the voice of drag, Joella oh, Puss. You, you are stunning oh, so much and gorgeous. We thank have to do this again. Yes. Be sure to check out Joella's video and for a collab. And also make sure to check out the new pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. <laughs> Tis the season. We love fat girl fall. Thank you, La Demi. <laughs> um, and you guys, don't forget makeup is a one size fit. Oh. Oh. And we hope to see you guys at our next, <laughs> hope to see you guys at our next video. Bye. Bye.